Good morning and happy Valentine's Day. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Greetings from the Shiloh Missionary Baptist Church at 106 County Road 1111 of Atlanta, Texas, zip code 75551. I am your host, Pastor Lucifer Maxey, to the Shiloh Church family. And we keep praying to God that everything will be all right. Amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> Father, we come to you once again by this and humble hearts. Thank you for knowing their fellowship. Lord, know their friendship. Thank you, Lord, for this day, a brand new day we've never seen before. A day that will promise our guarantee, Lord, but only call your grace and mercy. Then, Lord, we say thank you. Father, God bless those that are sick, those that are downtrodden, Father God, those that are homebound in the hospital, there's no home, institution, and jailhouse, Lord. Stop by and see them, Lord. Got a special prayer today for Brother Kurt Bradley, Brother Jimmy Peters, Father God, Sister Deborah, Father God, and all those names I didn't call. But you know who's on my mind, Lord, and you know who's in my heart. For that, Lord, I say thank you. Father God, bless every preacher, pastor, and preacher word today, Lord. That you give us something to say, Father God, to help someone along their way, Lord. In our lives, in our home, most of all, in a job, Lord, most of all, in their hearts, Lord. That you uplift us, Father God, for we down, strengthen us, Father God, for we weak. Then, Lord, we say thank you. Lord, we thank you for travel mercy, Lord, and you move all harm and danger out the way, Father God. That's a special prayer, Father God, for all those in that car pile, Father God, in Fort Worth, Texas, Lord, that you will bless those families in a mighty way, Father God, bless those that are hurt. And Father God, bless those that are dead, Father God. Bless those families, Lord. We thank you to the family what you're going to do. <clears throat> In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our scripture for you today will come from the New Testament. The, the New Testament. 1 Corinthians. First Corinthians. Chapter 12, <clears throat> First Corinthians chapter 12, beginning with verse 12. First Corinthians chapter 12, beginning with verse 12. Amen. And verse 12 reads, For as the body is one, and have many members, and all the members of that one body, being many, all one body. So also is Christ. For by one Spirit are we all baptized into one body, whether we be Jews or Gentiles, whether we be bond or free, have been all made to drink into the Spirit. And verse 14, for the body is not one member, but many. May God bless his word. I'd like to use for our subject today, love will keep us together. Love will keep us together. Now, if you're my age, you probably remember that song by Captain Daniel. Y'all ain't going to pray for me today. Love will keep us together. We're still on the topic of this earth is mine, saith the Lord. And as a reminder, remember that God will not allow lower beings, which are human beings, to take what he intended for the good of mankind. Somebody say amen. Today is love day. Valentine's Day. But it's also the month of black history. But Today should be love day, and every day should be love day. We should love everybody every day. Somebody say amen. But when you blend the two together, love and black history, you should get brotherly love out of that. Let's get to our topic for today. Research shows that our churches have not changed since the 1960s, meaning that they still don't look like Heaven. Y'all ain't going to pray for me? In fact, Sunday morning is the most segregated day of the week. We work together, we go to school together, we play together. But when it comes to worship, 
we walk on separate paths. To see what God says about the lack of diversity, let's take a look at verse 12. It says, For as a body, though one has many parts or many members, but all its many parts form one body, so it is which Jesus Christ. Now, when God created us, he called us man. As man, we are different from the animal kingdom. Therefore, we are a separate species. In other words, we shouldn't be like animals fighting against one another. As man, we have many parts or many races. But together, we make up the body of Christ. Together, we make up the body of Christ. Therefore, there should be love among all races. Somebody say amen today. If you say you love Christ, then you should also love me. If I say I love Christ, then I should also love you. I said, brothers and sisters, I love you no matter what race you are. I love you because I love Christ, and Christ loves us all. When God gave man dominion over the earth, he didn't give dominion to a particular man, a particular race. No, he didn't. He gave to all men because all men are created equal. Verse 13 says, For we are all baptized by one spirit, so as to form one body, whether Jew or Gentile, bond or free, we were all given the one spirit to drink. That is the Holy Spirit. I didn't say Jack Black. Y'all ain't praying for me. I didn't say the silver bullet. I said the Holy Spirit. All these words describe all of us. In other words, all mankind fall into one of these categories. Somebody say thank you. Church at salvation, the Holy Spirit baptized the believing sinner into the body of Christ, which is the born again experience. All of us must come into the same, same mouth, the same way, by and through Jesus Christ, what he did on the cross. Baby, I don't care if you're black, white, Brown or red, this is the only way for you to get to heaven. Somebody say amen. Look at verse 14. Even so, the body, the human body, is not made up of one part but of many. And God in his infinite wisdom included us all, thank you, in his plan of salvation. Somebody also say thank you, sir. Verse 15 says, now, if the foot should say, because I am not a hand, I do not belong to the body, he would not, for that reason, stop being part of the body. 16 said, if the ear should say, because I am not an eye, I do not belong to the body. If it were not, for that reason, stop being part of the body. Lord, help me today. In other words, church, you cannot say, because my skin is brown. And let that simmer for a minute. Because my skin is brown, I can't be part of the body of Christ. Or because my skin is red, I can't be a member of the body of Christ. Or because my skin is a different color from whatever yours is. I can't be a part of this country. Oh, y'all ain't talking to me? I stopped by to tell you this morning, love conquers all. I said love will conquer all. Because God gave salvation to us all. Not just one race or the other, but to us all. Somebody said, thank you, Lord. Because the God I serve 
He is only love. And love is not hateful, nor is love selfish. I was about to tell you this morning. Love will keep us together. All but hate will keep us apart. Verse 17 goes to explain if the whole body were an eye, where would the sense of hearing be? Think about that. If the whole body were an ear, where would the sense of smell be? In other words, we are all necessary to make up the entire body of Christ. We are all necessary to make up the entire body of this country. We are all necessary to make up the entire body of this world. We all have different gifts, different talents that God needs on this earth for us all. In other words, for a human body to be whole, it has to have the variety of different organs. Well, for America to be whole, y'all ain't praying for me. It must have a different variety of races. For the world to be whole, it must have a different variety of races, a different variety of people. But we all come together to make a whole. One body, one Christ. Look at verse 18. But in fact, God has placed the parts in the body, every one of them, Lord have mercy, just where he wants them to be. As he said, now I'm pleased. With the same thing with man, he placed every man where he wanted them to be, in every country where he wanted them to be. He gave them their own language, their own culture. But that does not make them any different from the rest of us. So that tells me that God wanted me and wanted you to be godly and to be godlike. He meant for us, Lord, he meant for us to be the same in spirit and in truth. But that, Lord, I say thank you. But he never meant for us to worship another man. Now watch this. He never meant for us to worship another man. Y'all can stop praying for me now. We were made to worship God and not man. We were made to worship the living God. Not some made up, watered down, or y'all ain't talking, some watered down version of a God that you made for yourself. No. We are made to honor and worship the living God. Verse 19 says, If they were all one part, where would the body be? Dr. Stanmore, if the human body were one large eye, a one big ear, y'all ain't talking to me, <laughs> it would no longer be a body. It would be a monstrosity. Oh, y'all ain't talking to me today. It wouldn't be human. It would be a monster. So being different, that tells me, Dr. William, being different is necessary for this country, for this world, to function. God wants diversity, but we must also live in love. Because without love, there will always be war and there will always be strife. Because without love, there will always be jealousy and animosity. Because without love, there will always be killings and murders. So God is trying to make this earth like heaven. Love will keep us together. But we fight. I said we fight. I said we choose to fight against God's vision and cause division among ourselves. I said we fight. We choose to fight against God's vision and instead cause division among ourselves. Verse 20, as it tells us, there are many parts but one body. If you don't understand this, the Bible says it's simple. In verse 21, the eye cannot say to the hand, I don't need you. Y'all ain't praying for me? 
The head cannot say to the feet, I don't need you. In other words, church, America, we all need each other. Somebody said thank you. Now, I love verse 22 because it makes it a little personal. On the contrary, those parts of the body that seem to be weaker than others are indispensable. Lord, help me. Oh, we all play the part and part in this society. It takes all of us to make this country tick. It takes all of us to make our cities tick. It takes all of us to make the world go round. Verse 23, Lord help me. We think are less honorable. We treat those with special honors. And the part that are unpresentable are treated with special modesty. Y'all hear what I said? We treat. I didn't say God. I said we treat. While our presentable parts need no special treatment. But God has put the body together, church, for a reason. Giving great honor to the parts that lack it. So verse 25 says, so that there should be no division in the body, but that its parts should have equal concern for each other. Equal love for each other. Equal respect for each other. If one part suffers, every part should suffer with it. If one part is honored, every part should rejoice with it. If you hurt, I should hurt. Oh, but if you excel, I should rejoice with you. Love will keep us together. Somebody say amen. So because we all are needed, we are all necessary, man can't separate himself and declare himself better than the rest. I said we are all critical to the body of Christ. We are all critical to the survival of America. Therefore, no man can separate himself and declare himself better than the rest. I said no man or woman can consider themselves better than the rest. There should be unity and diversity in the body, in the body of Christ. Look at verse 27. God love, you are the body of Christ. And each one of you is a part of it. God said each one of us is a part of it. So please make yourself a part. Don't separate yourself from the rest of us thinking that you're better because you're not. Think that you look better because you're not. Uh, baby, I'm sorry to tell you, you don't. So church, so America, eagerly desire the greater gifts, which is love. Because love will keep us together forever. Tina said, what does love have to do with it? Well, stop by telling you that love has everything to do with it. Because love will keep us together. That's why Jesus Christ died for us all with three nails on the cross, because of love. He hung, bled, and died because of love. But he rolled on that third day morning. You know why? Because of love. For that, Lord, I say thank you. And I thank God for Jesus. The door of the church open. Won't there be one today? That when it comes to help Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Oh, he loves you so much. And we love you too if you just come. But there'll be one. But please don't wait for time is not on your side. Amen. Amen.
Let us pray, Father. We thank you for the word of God. Father God, we thank you for the love that you bestowed on us, Lord. Inserted in our hearts, in our minds, in our spirit. That we might love each other. That everybody might love everybody. But then, Lord, we say thank you, thank you, thank you. In the name of Jesus to Christ, we pray. Amen and amen. May God bless you. May God keep you. Until next time.